Ridge Raven 5678 here. Welcome back to Dark Souls and uh Man <laughs> Oh man dude I just went over the backstory and the lore between Quelag and this and uh goddamn this is depressing. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually kind of sad. It kind of almost brings tears to my eyes. So here's what I got from the lore, right? So I could be wrong, but I'm sure you guys will let me know. You know, if there's anybody who watches the video. Anyway. So after... So these two are the daughters of... Uh, or, or she... This one here is the daughter of Isaleth. Uh, one of the Chaos Daughters. Stuff like that. Her and her sister Quaylog, who we just murdered. Uh, anyways... Um, well, these two escaped, and she and this chick here ingested, uh, because she, she actually is the kind one. She is considered the nice, uh, the nice lady, or the nice spider lady. Um, she ingested some kind of disease called blight something, something from this pyromancer, whatever, whatever. And, um, and she got sick, and she is dying. She's actually dying. So her and Quaylock, her sister, uh, comes down here to the ruin because Quaylock knew that us, the Chosen Undead, would have to come down here and oh, and ring the Bell of Awakening, hoping to stop us and provide now more now nourishment. Oh God, I can't speak right now. But basically, nourishment for uh, her and her sister. The thing is, though, right? The only way to keep this chick alive is to keep her to become the fire keeper so rest that to be near a bonfire and people would offer her humanity to help her ease her pain also uh like you know ease her pain like we did uh that like we just did uh last episode right and also um creatures from the above mainly like humans would you know would offer their service to Quaylag in order to take some of the eggs. You see that she's surrounded by eggs. This is coming from her butthole. And obviously, you know, server people who are serving Quaylog, like this guy here, would carry them onto their backs. And obviously the thing would be so heavy that they all they can do is crawl on the ground and pray to Quaylog. So, you know what I just realized? <laughs> we kill Quaylog. We're basically killing this one too. Because Quaylog is dead, no one is here to help her ease her pain. Except the few of people like us who offered some of her humanity, some humanity to ease her pain. But other than that, she's fucked. She's dead. She's gonna die eventually. That is sad. That's really fucking sad. But also, probably my favorite fucking story so far in this game in the dark souls universe this is so freaking cool good job miyazaki good job devs good oh my god dude this is amazing this is such great storytelling i mean it's sad man like we're basically we're, we're, we're I, I i feel like a monster but then again okay if you think about it though we had no choice i mean we i mean we had to go down there and ring the bell of awakening Quaylag attacked us, all right? She attacked us. Now, I'm a nice guy. I'm I'm pretty passive. Uh, maybe too nice, but I'm pretty passive, all right? I wasn't, you know, if, if Quaylag would be like, yeah, sure, come ring the bell, babe, and, you know, and, uh, you know, enjoy life and all that stuff. Then I'd be like, all right, cool. Have fun with egg-sacking people and stuff like that, right? But she attacked us. We had to do what we had to do. And you know what they say? Every action has its consequences. And even though she, this one is the kind one and stuff like that, even though she is exacting people and stuff like that, she's eventually gonna die. So, oh well. You know what? If there's anything I could do for you, I'll honor your prayer. So, and you know what? I'll offer you one more humanity just to ease your pain so i feel so sorry for her man really i i mean i honestly do man all right well i'm just gonna have to walk away now so there's nothing i can do 
Oh my god, this feels so sad. This is emotional, man. Like, I know it's a video game character and all that stuff, but fuck off, bro. Come on. Like, books, they're just books. Movies, they're just movies, and people get emotional about that. Why can't you get emotional about video games, right? So, I mean, the only thing we can do now, the only thing we can do now, it, it, it's basically that situation where we're just on different side you know like there's war like it's kind of like world war ii right i mean not everybody was for everything they fought for but because we were on different sides and stuff we had to do what we had to do in order to survive and that is exactly what we had to do so oh god here comes more quaylock servants but you know what let's go ahead and uh let this bonfire here demon runes okay I also learned a little bit about uh, the next guy. Who we, I don't know if there's a boss, but basically, uh, it's a giant centipede with fucking. It's basically a giant flaming centipede. Um, oh shit! Oh shit! Come here. Anyway, it's a giant centipede, right? And that thing wants to eat our butthole. But basically, it's supposed to be one of the sister's son, or it's supposed to be a son of something, right? And... Goddamn. Oh, shit. Stop it! Hey, stop it! Oh, fucker. Holy crap. Why did I do that, by the way? I could've just rested. Wait, can I actually just keep uh, grinding? How many experience do I actually get out of this? Let's see. So I don't get any souls for killing those guys. Nah, that's very little, so it's not worth the time. Alright, do these things actually blow up if I get into them? No, no, they don't. Alright. Need chance. Well, he ain't good. Alright, well, let's continue. So, yeah, so we actually technically don't need to kill these guys. We could just do it for XP, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. What the hell is that movie thing over there? Anyway, but yeah, anyways. <clears throat> So far from what I know now is that there's supposed to be some kind of giant, uh... Oh, you guys actually attack. Well, you guys are definitely not a problem. Anyways, there's supposed to be some kind of giant centipede thing that we need to kill and stuff like that. Who's also, uh, has, uh, you know, the sister tried to help, uh, this poor guy ease his pain and stuff like that. So he gave him, like, some kind of ring, uh, to help ease the pain. Um, but this thing, but he was so clumsy, he drops the ring into the, the lava, I believe. And now, uh, and now he becomes a giant centipede with flames that just pops out and, uh, I, th I believe it just burns his asshole, something like that, so. Mm, okay, I don't think we'll actually be able to go anywhere from here. Because, I mean, well, where the hell can we go? I mean, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna get cooked by... Yeah, look how much damage that is. Oh, crap. Yeah. There's no way we're gonna survive that, so... Alright, I guess the... Oh. How did I miss that? Oh, because it's, like, off in the... Okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Right, I was about to say, maybe, maybe we have to turn back around and, um... You know, just... Uh, go to where that gate that we opened up in the last episode, but no, oh, we found a found another way to somewhere. So let's go along that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean this is I, I can already say this is the, like one of the best games I've played in a couple months. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and just say it. This is definitely up there as one of the better games that I played in a couple months. And I'm not saying that I didn't enjoy the last couple games. God of War is pretty good and stuff like that, but this game is kind of. This game kind of hits different, you know, um, it feels more like, it, it doesn't feel like an experience, it feels, because that's the thing about, like, most games nowadays, they were so hand-holding and stuff like that, and even God of War, as much as I love that game, it was more hand holdy you know, um, it was more just an experience to just watch this, watch, like, play this, watch this happen, and move on, kind of stuff like that, you know, um, whereas in this game here, oh, we could have just avoided damage and... Okay, Alright, whatever. We'll, we'll just keep going. I'm a man. Um, but yeah, this game, I mean, it just... just it, it feels like a video game. <laughs> I mean, I know it's kind of weird saying, yes, of course, it feels like a video game. It's a video game. But, like, no, I mean, I mean... It feels like 
I'm actually playing a video game instead of watching a video game and playing part. If that makes any sense, I'm pretty sure anybody who's played like modern games nowadays, like most of them, they're most like they have like cutscenes every five minutes and stuff like that. And I'm not shitting on modern day video games, by the way. I'm just saying that this is how most of them feel. With this one, like it just feels like there's just a lot more to, you know, playing the game instead of, you know, just experience it so i don't know it's, it's hard to explain where i'm getting at here but yeah man i'm, I'm sorry i know I'm, I'm i know i'm just starting to get a huge boner for dark souls right now but it's it's again it's, it's seriously uh i don't know maybe this is just something i needed for a while by the way i think we're about to hit another boss fight because this thing isn't opening up i'm scurry Really looks like the Mines of Moria from Lord of the Rings too. Try learning it out. Well, what am I learning out? I haven't appeared yet. Hmm. Here's something. Oh, that's what it was. That's the thing I was talking about, by the way. So you see all the flames and shit like that? Uh, if you can, if you remember, Quaylog had some like fire looking thingies around her back on the spider side. That's exactly what uh, that thing has on them. And uh, yeah, so it's a, like I said, man, it's a sad story. All right, so the guy says, Try luring it out. Well, I don't exactly know what that means. Other than, you know, obviously, bring it forward. Are you gonna have like a huge health bar at some point, or are you just gonna. It's not even attacking me. Is that the face? <laughs> it looks so sad. It's like, please just put me out of my misery. Yeah, this, it, it kind of just tells you, man. That... What? Uh, hold up! I thought we were cool, bro! Alright. Another boss fight already, man. I did not expect another one so quick. Kind of learning it out. Okay, let's move back here and see if this way. That's how much damage I'm doing, bro. We're screwed. I, I mean, hey, if you keep doing that, though, I mean, we're good. The fact that I'm fighting bosses like a million times my size too. I could have done a better job avoiding that. Ow, son of a bitch. Do it again, do it again. I just want to, I just, I'm really curious to... I was behind them, I was behind that, right? I mean, I just want to make sure no, no Call of Duty bullshit is going on too. You know, like where you, you, you think you're behind the wall and the game's like, nothing, that, that ain't no wall. <laughs> you know? <sighs> okay. Well. You know, I, I did not honestly expect us to get into another boss fight so soon, so. It's a big-ass arena, too, man. Like, holy crap. So, anyways, as, you know, if we can keep trying to make that thing do the, like, the first few attacks that it did, we can we got this in the back, you know? So, it's, it's gonna pretty much be a rinse and repeat kind of fight, but... <clears throat> <clears throat> Rocking my throat. 
Oh, we're, we're starting already? Hold up. Oh, dude, I didn't even take out the last armor that we got. Okay, we need to run. We need to run. We need to run. Shit, this is so quick. This is not where I want to fight it here. I have, like, hardly any room to, uh, to travel. Hey, man, how you doing? Okay. It was nice being human for like. Yo, come on, bro. You're like super behind the fucking. All right. How the fuck do you dodge that? Ah. Uh... I feel like it's gonna be more of an annoying boss fight than ever. Alright, let's see what we actually got. So, we got go him, black hood. Um, bleed resistant. Okay, so this gives you more resistant to bleeding and all that shit. Um, hmm. Oh, this is more like if you wanna go as a mage or something. I see. Okay. Wait, this skirt gives me more armor than... Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> I gotta wear a skirt just to have the best armor. Alright. Whatever! Alright, let's continue. So, yeah, so I guess that's a choice. If, we, if we, we can go, we can slide down this hill just to get around faster. In the cost of, like, losing a couple... Uh, like a little bit of health, but you know, fuck it. Let's try fighting it here, actually. I just wanna, like, there's no, there's no harm in, like, knowing if this is, like, the best place to fight it. I don't think this is the best place to fight it. <laughs> it seems, is that, is that a tracking move, too? What are you doing? Why, wh why did you try to attack me from all the way over here? I thought I can at least get a head hit there. Hey, that looks like I can chop it off. You still have, ooh, just looking at how weak that looks and looks. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to <laughs> bounce around this fucker. I'm gonna have to actually fight this thing like fair and square. Alright, well this is definitely gonna test my patience because I really don't want to keep running around in circles and stuff. Alright. So yeah, I'm starting to not think I wanna fight this thing here. Well, I'm gonna try it again, just in case. Cause I don't know, man. Maybe it is the viable strategy. Maybe it's not. The only way to actually know is the, you know, trial and error, you know? Just to actually fight it here. Hey, man, how you doing? Yeah, I'm just gonna be practice swimming. Don't 
Kick it. Fucking hit it with your weapon, stupid. Um, what the fuck kind of attack is that? That's a big fuck you attack right there. Speaking of, uh, fucking me. This is definitely one of those bosses where I, like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and if I get hit once, I, like, lose, like, 70% of my health. Which is... <sighs> Should I be fighting it here? Is this an optional boss fight? Because we already went, you know, around the fucker, and there's, like, no other, like, path to take. So... Is this an optional boss fight? I don't know. I might look it up after we die again, but I'm gonna keep trying it just to see. Yeah, this is one of those bosses where no one mentions, like, nobody says, oh yeah, this 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 guy is pretty tough or pretty easy or whatever, you know? Alright. Alright, let's fight it on the bigger circle, on the bigger grand scale of things, you know? Like, not here. I knew you were gonna be doing that fucking move, but, like, I wasn't anticipating on it. No, don't do it again. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Thank you. Alright, come over here, sir. There's- uh, Yeah, I legit tried to run away from that. There's no way I was gonna be able to dodge that. And I've already- And we've already found out, too, that even if I'm behind something, it's still gonna hit me. You're gonna do it again, aren't you? I- We dodged it! Okay, never mind. There is a way to dodge that. But you just you just have to rely a lot on luck and to not you know bum you in the ass. All right, cool. You know, like that. I've legit. All right, I'm looking this bitch up. I I don't care. D S one C. What's this chart? Is this optional or what? 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 No. No. Get the fuck. Shut the front door, bro. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I really want to do this. Boy, I think I should at least be able to cheese. Just one. Just one. Just one boss. Just one boss. Okay. I, I'm sorry. All right. Just one boss, okay? I swear, that's it, that's it. That's it's just gonna be one boss, okay? So uh this is how this is how we do it. So you remember that message that says try learning it out? This is what it means. Just just watch, okay? Now I haven't seen this done or something like that. I only heard it get done, you know. Like I read it, stuff like that, and this is exactly what it means. So just watch. What are you doing? No! Not that move. The fuck you, I know what you're gonna do. No, you don't. He's doing it again. Really, bro? You, 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 really, bro? Come on. <laughs> You're not going to give me the chance to even do it?
Alright. Let's keep trying it. Because I actually want to see this happen, like, anyways, right? So, we're supposed to aggro the fucker. Uh, you know, obviously at the corpse where we, you know, got it. The, the new pirate, the new fucking armor. The way we got the skirt, right? And we got to, um, we got to aggro it. We went all the way back to the fog gate, I think? Yeah, run back towards the fog gate. Let him slam his hand down and then he'll clip off. So basically, we got to try to get this guy over here. Um, now he is a bit of an asshole, uh, who I, I guess all, I, I guess, uh, you know, throughout his entire life, he's been like, he's always been cheesed and stuff like that. So maybe he wants one fair fight against one person. You motherfucker. Well, that ain't gonna be me, because you keep doing that fucking move that is super hard to dodge. Alright, bitch, come on. Not again! Stop it! Oh my god, you're you oh man, you're so irritating, bro. You're so irritating. You're like my fucking dog, except I actually like my dog. Okay. I'm over here. What? Alright. I've seen it done. I'm ready. You know what? Fuck it. This is how we're gonna run fast. Gotta run fast. Gotta run fast. All right. I've seen it done. This is how we. This is how you do it. So it's nice to see Gus's like hair again. I mean, like I haven't seen it in such a long time. You look good, my boy. So I just realized your your heart is like not there. All right. So this is how we do it. Now I don't know if this. Like, this is the method that he did exactly 100% because he, he, you know, he activated the boss first and then ran all the way back, right? My fucking guy doesn't want to do that, though. He wants to do his little fucking candle lighting move. Like this. Okay. Yes. Okay, go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Oh, yo, no! <laughs> Should be... Okay, so this is... Okay, this is almost exactly how he did it, all right? Now, don't do that fucking finger move. Come on, jump, jump, jump at me, bro. Jump at me, come on. Yes! This is what we needed! Yes! Fuck you, cunt. That was still hard. But you know what? After... I, I don't feel bad. I feel more bad for Quaylog because of how not challenging she was. I mean, I'm not going to say she was easy, but she wasn't too bad of a challenge, right? This fucker, on the other hand, was just annoying. Just annoying the shit out of me, alright? So, fuck him. I don't feel bad whatsoever. In fact, if I could teabag right now, I would. So, alright. Uh, and there's something I actually wanted to do real quick. So, I can't believe this thing gives me more armor. Wow. <laughs> All right. Get the night armor back on. All right. All right. Oh, fuck that guy. So, I wonder why he was so chill though until we touched that corpse, by the way. Um 
Wait a minute. So we did just say, right, in Quaylog's like lore and backstory, that her sister, who, you know, was pretty chill and stuff by that bonfire, was um was sick, and she was affected by a pyromancer, right? Pyromancy obviously means fire and all that shit. And that ceaseless discharge was obviously full of flames and shit. So maybe this corpse that we looted had something to do with the with the discharge thing and um he just protecting it or i don't know man fuck him fuck him fuck him the most annoying boss fight in the entire game all right i'm so glad there's an easy way to shoot it all right get my attunement level two just so i can use the great chaos plane Wait, why is it not slight magic? No, I want to move that. And put that there. There we go. Alright, let's see this baby in action. hi -ya! Hell yeah. Oh, look at that. An easy way to grind souls too. So burn these fuckers. And, uh... Oh, look! Because it's leaving like a lava pile behind. So that's pretty cool. You know what? I'll use this in, in uh, Quaylock's sister's memory. So I respect Quaylock and her sister, by the way. Like, honestly, I, like I said, I feel like it was just like two innocent as beans, you know, or I guess three technically, because, you know, his sister. Basically, Quaylock was there to protect his sister. And I just came in there and just killed them both, basically. So there you go. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um,. Yeah, I think I see where we don't want to go. Alright. These fucking things are so... So creepy. Like, ugh. Creepy. Alright. Um, I guess we could technically... Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Um, like I said, I don't know if this is going to be worth going over there. I mean, maybe it would be... Just to uh, charge in there and grab it and then, you know, and then die. But then that means I would lose 8,000 souls. And uh, I don't want to lose 8,000 souls, you know. So of a proud knight. Alright, bro. Let's see what you got. You, you look like the copper demon. Alright. I can't backstab you. That sucks. Ow. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that was really stupid of me, wasn't it? Alright, that thing won't respawn now. So that's something. Alright. I can't wait to get back on the surface again. <laughs> Being away from it so long, man, it, uh, it's like, uh, you know? We're still technically in the below, though, aren't we? So, we haven't even reached the abyss. Oh, crap. There's, oh, my God, there's more of them. Oh, my God, there's more of them. Is this really the next, like, is, is that another boss room over there? Oh my god. Alright. I wonder if it's better to find my chances at jumping down. Hello? I'm just gonna... Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, the, the devs are like, oh no. He's gonna try to jump. Not gonna be good for him. Okay, I was just testing something out. I wasn't. That's just so many. You guys are really weak to plane, though. That's just for sure. 
Ow. And I'm really weak to something that has brains. Oh, I'm so good to dead here. But you know, again, at least these guys won't respond, so. I'm dead. All right. Well, hey, you know what? At least we don't have to go through like the first two things again. So. All right. <clears throat> I still don't even like know if we're technically like supposed to be going through, like down here and stuff like that. Um, like I feel like I don't know, man. Like, I feel like we're supposed to be going back to the Firelink Shrine. If you guys remember, right? Uh, when we rang the first bell and went back to the Firelink Shrine, we went to that, like, water... That place that had a bit of water where that, uh, raven or crow, whatever it was, uh, was chilling out at. We heard, we heard, we heard a voice, but, like, nothing happened, you know? Um, so... I'm just kind of wondering. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! They do respond! Are we supposed to be here, man? Uh, are we supposed to be down here, man? I don't know. Fuck it. Well, we'll uh, man, I'm gonna lose 8,000 souls if I die, though. So, imminent jumping. I can't get back up here. Um, okay, I miss. I think I found a weakness. To this. Well, now I have no souls, so now I can just say fuck it and run towards all those asylum demon looking guys, or tourist demons, whatever. And, uh, see what that thing out in the distance. Yeah, I'm starting to think that I'm not really supposed to be down here. Um,. Like, obviously, you know, we cheesed the crap out of that fucking ceaseless discharge, but, man, we weren't doing damage to that thing, like, whatsoever, really. Um, so I'm really thinking, maybe we're just supposed to go back, maybe, maybe that, maybe we are supposed to go through the gate to be uh, where that, uh, fucking one night guy was, that fat guy was, so. Alright, here's the plan. We are gonna try to run over to where that item is because I am a greedy bastard and then once we die we are gonna make our way back to the surface uh, and go where that thing I wasn't in the fire video game but yeah yeah I just realized too the Taurus demon and the Capra demon like so the, yes and uh, in the war of those two boss fights that we did these guys actually did escape from uh, the below, so it's kind of cool to see them at now regular enemies. Which does that mean you guys are going to be doing? Okay. <laughs> Come on. I died in. Alright, well, fuck it, there's no point. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's head back to the surface now. Alright, I said I know I'd meet you guys back at the surface, but, like, I kind of came, like, at a, a completely different way than I thought I was going to. And probably the only way I could have gone, so. Yeah, these guys are still none. By the way, I just fought off, like, an entire room full of these dudes. Alright. Yep. Insta kill. Firekeeper soul? 
Oh, we could have gone back to Quaylock's sister to do the thingy. Oh, well. Hey, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, you got dodge. You got dodge, but you ain't. You ain't got skills, though. But, um, that well. Alright, uh. Oh, I thought we were actually supposed to come down here. Hmm. Oh, I didn't realize there was more of you guys. Yeah, just trying to fucking find a way out of here, man. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Oh! And these guys aren't helping. Stupid mosquito things. Goddamn. That's as annoying as the real life counterparts. There we go. Yeah, I really thought that was like a door. It'd be like, oh, you know, I'll just start recording and, you know, we'll just get to the door and then maybe we'll just lead back to the surface. But nope. I don't know if I'm just going the long way around or something like that or am I actually having to fucking. Uh, what do you call it? Just do all this shit. Right, whatever. Wait, is that a ladder? No, it wasn't. Okay. So I'm going crazy. Oh, no! Oh my god. Fucking misclick again. Uh, yo, if that would have. Like. <laughs> How I died two episodes ago when I was like on that very narrow beam was embarrassing enough, but man, if I would have just, if I would have died right there and had to go all the way back to the, I actually, I didn't even go to the Quaylog bonfire. I actually just skipped it, but like, nah, I think I can handle it, but I would have, uh, all right. Oh, there's a ladder here. It's kind of hard to see. problem anymore for me. The mosquitoes aren't a problem. They're just hard to hit and they're just so annoying. Just like in real life though, they're easy like they die in one hit when you smack them, but like well, you know, depending on how hard you smack them. But they're just so annoying and they're hard to hit. Oh, I just see it I see a dude right around the corner. What's up? I uh, was really hoping I was gonna hit, get a backstab off those three hits. A backstab off those three hits, but I don't think I'm gonna get that with this guy. Oh well. Oh crap, we got more. Poo pie, yummy, yummy. <gasps> is that air? Like, is that sunlight? Is that a way out? Valley of Tree. Oh, we're back in the Valley of Tree. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah, we were super low level for this area. of a nameless soldier. Just as we thought. Alright. Hopefully we can avoid those tricks then. And we can just, uh... Grief. Uh, what the... That's a... Oh, come on, yo. Come on, man. Where the fuck am I? This is not... That was dangerous. This is not where I expected to be. Like, I, I, oh man, where the hell are we going, dude? Like, now I'm just wandering aimlessly. 
Please be dead. 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 Be wary of plunging attack. Huh. Well, obviously that's a trap. Uh, not one I am really want to activate now because if we die, we are gonna be going so fucking far away. Oh crap, dude! There's another guy here, man, and I can't fight him. Oh man. Oh, this is that's I'm, I'm actually getting a little stressed out here, man. Because like, ah, uh, should we try it? No, let's not try it. I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna be greedy. We are just gonna run. We're gonna be on our way. We're just gonna run. Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm just gonna get by you, if you don't mind. Thank you. That was a nice little... That was a nice little kiss in the ass. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You, you taught me a lot. Where do I go? 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 Okay. Through here. Okay, I know where we... <gasps> no. Oh no, come on. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna follow us here. I don't know what I just missed back there, but I, I don't care <laughs> right now. Like I just wanna I just wanna get to a bonfire and call it a day. Oh man, we're really living on the edge here. I just want to go. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up too. <gasps> bonfire. Okay. Oh, yes. Bonfires. bonfires are like my favorite thing in the world right now. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode here. Holy shit, man. That's. Oh man. White town. <laughs> Sucks to be there. Uh, we cannot reinforce because we do not have any titanite sharp. So titanite sharp, whatever. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, just call that the episode. Um, so I did a little research too of knowing where I'm supposed to use Quaylock's soul. Uh, and it doesn't look like we're going to be using it anytime soon. So just to keep these things safe, I'm going to go ahead and put these in my storage. Uh, so I don't accidentally use them. So, I, Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching as usual. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.